Good morning, everybody. This video is being pre-recorded on January 20th to be uploaded to YouTube and Instagram at 10 a.m. on February 14th. So today I'm going to be reviewing romantic comedy books. The reason why I chose to shoot this video a little earlier than scheduled was because most of my library books are due back before Valentine's Day, so I wanted to take the opportunity to talk about them now. The first book I wanted to talk about is A Walk to Remember by Nicholas Sparks. Um, I have read several of his books over the years and seen a few of his movies based on his books. Mostly A Walk to Remember, The Last Song, and... There was another, oh, The Notebook. So this book came out in 2000. The movie with Shane West and Mandy Moore came out in 2001. And I remember singing Only Hope in high school choir and being blown away by how beautiful the lyrics of that song was. I love this book and I love the buildup between Jamie Landon's relationship. It's very sweet. I'm not going to spoil the ending, but I'm assuming that by now, since this book came out a long time ago, people have read it or seen the movie and know what the ending is. But if in case you want to read the book again, I won't spoil the ending. So... I haven't finished this book yet. I'm currently on page 172, chapter 11, but I can definitely say with certainty that this book will be a five-star rating because I have never stopped enjoying it over all this time since I first read it in 2000. The next book I wanted to talk about is called All the Right Notes by Dominic Lim. Um, so this is a book written by a... Um, a man named Dominic Lynn who has been in musical performances of Miss Saigon in Maine. He lives in California. Um, and this is about two guys named Quito and Emmett who are sort of afraid to come out as gay to their community because they're afraid of pushback. I love the representation of LGBTQ couples in this book and think that more books with these kinds of couples need to be featured um, more prominently. And I really loved all the uh, scenes where they were like performing in either rehearsing for their concert or performing the actual concert because I mean, as people know, this is a musical theater blog and I love reading books that are related to performing. So this book is definitely a top favorite. I haven't rated it. I think I rated it on Goodreads actually. So it's between 4.75 and five stars for me. The next book is Secretly Yours by Tessa Bailey. I actually first read this book last summer and decided to read it again for this blog post because I really enjoy Tessa Bailey's writing and the slow buildup of relationships between the male and female leads in her books. I have read two other books by her so far, Wreck the Halls and Fix Her Up. And I'm also hoping to reread It Happened One Summer later this year, probably in May or June since it's a summer book, but my favorite part of this story is the fact that the main female character doesn't re reveal herself as, so she is writing secret admirer letters to the main male character, Julian. This is Holly and this is Julian. And Holly doesn't actually reveal herself as the writer of the letters until like, chapter 20. So I had fun 
when I first read this book, figuring out who was writing the letters. And then when I found out it was Holly, I was really very surprised that it was her. Um, so I gave this book probably, uh, I, ha I just finished this book yesterday and I gave it 3.7 point, uh, 3.75 to four stars around that ballpark. The next book I wanted to talk about, actually, I'll talk about these two books together. Um, the reason why I want to, so the first book is called The Do-Over by Lynn Painter. And the second book is called The Happy Ever Playlist. The Happy Ever After Playlist by Abby Jimenez. So the cool thing about these two books is that they're centered around songs that are like love songs. So this is a romantic comedy that has a, this book, The Do-Over by Lynn Painter. It has a, a Groundhog Day trope for those of you who have seen the movie Groundhog Day before with Bill Murray. It's about a guy who lives over the same day over and over again. And the girl in this book, M Emily, she, I think it's Emily Emil, something like that. Um, she li lives valentine's day over and over again to try to fix her misgivings and her relationship with her boyfriend this book also has a love triangle trope because while she's trying to fix her relationship with her boyfriend she falls in love with another guy in town nick and this book is just so cute um so the playlist in this book includes a lot of songs by Taylor Swift, which I'm totally into. But another song that I really like in it is Nervous by Shawn Mendes. And, of course, Lose Yourself by Eminem. That's, that's, a, that's a good throwback because I remember the music video for that song. And also, Ed Sheeran and Taylor Swift have a couple duets. Everything has changed in the Joker and the Queen. The Joker and the Queen is also actually featured on the playlist for Marissa Meyer's book, Heartless, which is the origin story of the Queen of Hearts from Alice in Wonderland. So I really liked this book. Um, if you like the movie Groundhog Day, I think you will really enjoy this literary interpretation of that trope although it's focused around Valentine's Day. The next book I wanted to talk about is The Happy Ever After Playlist by Abby Jimenez. Abby Jimenez also wrote Yours Truly, which I reviewed in a previous blog post. Um, so let me... Uh... So basically what happens in this book is this girl, Sloan, almost runs over a loose dog in the street and kind of adopts it. Um, she tries to get hold of the owner, but he's not answering the phone. And the reason why she later realizes he didn't answer the phone is because he's a traveling musician and he was on tour. So the dog is kind of what, what is kind of what brings this couple together. And I really love the slow buildup of the relationship between Sloan and Jason. And this is another song. This is another book that has a playlist of songs in the back. And I have to say, I don't, I'm not really familiar with as many of these songs as I was in the play, as I was for the playlist in the do over, but the songs that I am familiar with in this playlist are Anything That's by Paramore and White Winter Hymno by the Fleet Foxes, as well as Full Stop by Radiohead and A Beautiful Mess by Jason Mraz. So all of the, the playlists for both of these books can actually be found on Spotify if you wanted to check them out and if people could also let me know what songs on the playlist they really like that would be cool the last romantic comedy book I wanted to talk about today is all to all the boys that I loved before by Jenny Han 
So this book came out in... Um... 2014 so it came out like five or six years ago or maybe a little bit more and it's about a girl named Lara Jean who writes letters to all of her crushes including her sister's ex-boyfriend and it's really sweet like I think I think the whole writing letters aspect really makes this book intriguing and interesting and makes you keep guessing which boy she falls in love with eventually. I don't want to spoil anything, so I'm not going to say which boy she ends up falling in love with. But I, this, so this book is about a high school girl. So Lara Jean's character kind of reminds me of what I was like in high school, although I was not as bold as she was to actually write letters to the guys that she had crushes on. I was actually pretty shy. But um, Jenny Han also wrote The Summer I Turned Pretty, which is what I plan to read next. Um, so I'm excited to finish this book right now. I am on page 220. Oh, and for the Happy Ever After playlist, I'm on page 254. So I should be finishing these books in the next couple of days. So can you, do you guys have any other, do you guys have any more romantic comedy books to recommend to me? Or any romantic comedy movies? From romantic comedy movies. Matt and I are going to review the following movies on his YouTube channel in a couple of weeks. Made in Manhattan. 10 Things I Hate About You. 13 Going on 30. Notting Hill. Father of the Bride. And P.S. I Love You. So if you have seen any of those movies... Please leave a message below with what you thought of them. And we will give you a shout out in a video that we're making in a couple of weeks when we review the movies. Have a great day.